All right, so here's a couple more questions. Um, this is from Laura. She says, hi, Dr. Brad. I just wanted to expand upon this question a bit more, as last night I spent almost an hour clearing emotions that were around the subject areas of sabotaging my ability to lose weight, sabotaging my ability to stop drinking, stop, stopping me from losing weight, causing me to gain weight. Uh, she said, as I recorded all the emotions I was clearing, it was evident that almost every one of these trapped emotions I had cleared from my heart wall in December. When I inquired as to location, some of these trapped emotions were found in the lung, bowel, spleen, etc. How do I know if or when I have totally eliminated these specific emotions and they are not lying in wait to mess me up in other areas of my life? Okay. Okay. Uh, also, she says, if I have cleared all the other above areas successfully, are there other questions I could or should be asking to make sure that I have effectively and permanently eliminated the trapped emotions that would continue to create issues with my weight? I really would like to handle this issue once and for all and get to the space and place of a body that is healthy and trim. Okay. Well, there, there are a couple of things here. Um, one thing that you want to do is think outside the box as far as asking questions. For example, one of the things that I found when I was in practice was that um, if I had a difficult time with a person and they didn't seem to be getting well, I would immediately start asking questions like, for example, are you OK with getting well? Are you, uh, and sometimes that answer would be no, and then that would lead me into finding the emotions that were connected up with that. Sometimes, as far as, for example, uh, weight gain, okay, sometimes the subconscious mind is creating that weight for us because it wants to protect us. For example, uh, it's not uncommon, especially for women, uh, if you've had a bad relationship at some point, uh, if you were maybe assaulted or something at some point, the subconscious mind will sometimes logically create this connection where it, it essentially says, OK, this was a very painful experience that we just went through. And it really happened. Why? Well, maybe it happened because we're attractive to men. And so if we become unattractive to men, therefore, we won't have to experience that kind of pain anymore. And so that's not an unusual thing. And so the subconscious mind will sometimes start to create that weight. Now, if you have the body code, so it's important to ask questions outside the box, as far as that goes. If you have the body code also, there are other uh, underlying reasons that you might be able to find as far as, um, as, far as a lot of these things go, um, uh, really all of these. For example, one of the things that, you, that you'll find commonly in people who are having a difficult time losing weight is toxicity. And what happens is the subconscious mind, um, well, the body will put the excess toxins that are not able to be broken down, because that process is not 100% efficient, and especially in the age that we're living in now, we're getting more and more toxins all the time. Uh, the body will try to break all those down uh, through the liver, and the toxins that can't be broken down or that are excess will be shoved into the fat cells and put into cold storage there. And so this is one of the big reasons why people will tend to uh, balloon back if they go on some kind of a crash diet, they'll lose the weight. And the relative concentration of toxins in their body at that point when they're done with that crash diet is higher than it was before. And so suddenly, now they need to put more fat on. And so that's what, why we see this rebound uh, effect going on with, um, with dieting. So, so, um, so that's, that's, I think, what I would recommend there is ask questions. and. If, uh, if you have the body code, then of course you've got a big advantage because you can dig deeper. And um, if, if all of the questions are coming up that you've cleared all the emotions about, for example, your weight problem, um, and there's, there aren't any other emotions showing up for that, then you might want to dig a little bit deeper. Sometimes it can help, uh, using the body code, sometimes it can help also to get a, um, to get a session uh, from one of our practitioners. Sometimes it helps to have someone else um, help you. And so um, uh, let me just show you here really quickly. If you go to uh, healerslibrary.com and you go to the Find a Practitioner page, most of you are familiar with this, but for those of you that aren't, um, you actually get a map here that shows you all the practitioners around the world. And, and, um, and you can find somebody to work with you that, um, that can sometimes make a breakthrough happen for you because sometimes we just need a second opinion. And if you're working on yourself all the time, it's great and you can do a lot. 
but I have found, even in my own life, that um, it's helped me to sometimes have someone else work and get a fresh view there. 